Hi, this is Matt Blanchett from Blanchett Homes. And when I'm not selling houses, I like to walk through the streets of historic hometowns to appreciate the places that have stood the test of time. Walk with me. Hello, and I'm Matt Blanchett. Welcome to another edition of Walk With Me. We are here today at the Warner House, built circa 1715 by Archibald McPhedris. Now, if you've ever stumbled out of the D Street Tavern just a few blocks away after a great night of karaoke, you really owe a debt of gratitude to Archibald who bought this set of land, it was about 25 acres, and then he hired architect John Drew to build what is known as the oldest brick building in New England, so it's kind of a big deal. At the base of the building, the wall is two and a half feet thick, so it's a pretty good sized building. You'll also note that you will find on this building exterior bricks labeled with NH on them. If anybody can find one, we will give you a free t-shirt. Every 1,000th brick, say that five times fast, was embroidered with the NH stamp. They were made just down the street on the Piscataqua River, which means Portsmouth, by the way. And they made the bricks right here nearby, and they built in the Flemish or the Holland Dutch style, which again means that it was stretcher, header, stretcher, header, which was a high style, but it was also added some durability to the strength of the building. Also noteworthy, sorry, we get some interesting characters driving by, also noteworthy about this house. Originally was built in an M style, so there were actually two peaks that were combined originally, and then in the later 1700s, it was built into the Gambrel style roof that you see today. So this is a, a great example of a beautiful house that's been lovingly maintained. We also have a special uh, guest today. One of the tours from this building, it's now a museum, is going to give us an inside view of his favorite features. Appropriately enough, his name is Mason. We're about to check him out on the next episode, so stay tuned. But for now, this has been another episode of Walk With Me. We'll see you next time.